The message is like a well. The city may come and go, but the sweet water remains. However, it needs someone to know its whereabouts. These are the messengers, and Muhammad is the last of them. Peace and blessings be upon him. Messenger of Mercy In the tenth year after the Hijrah, the Messenger of Mercy, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, set out from Medina with over 30,000 Muslims to make Hajj. And when Muslims from all over Arabia joined him, the company assembled on the plain of Arafah numbered a hundred thousand, and he addressed them after the midday prayer. Hear me, O people, for I know not if I shall meet with you in this place after this year. Then he exhorted them to fulfill trusts, to abjure usury, to cease from blood feuds, to refrain from manipulating the calendar, to honor the rights of women, and to avoid racism. Finally, he said, I have left you with that which, if you hold fast to it, shall preserve you from all error, the book of God and the example of his prophet. He then recited a new revelation which completed the Quran. This day, the disbelievers despair of prevailing against your religion, so fear them not, but fear me. This day I have perfected for you your religion and fulfilled my favor unto you, and it has been my good pleasure to choose Islam for you as a religion. And he ended with an earnest question. O oh people, have I faithfully delivered the message? And the reply of affirmation rolled like thunder throughout the valley. Then he raised his forefinger and said, O oh God, bear witness. When the Prophet returned to Medina, he was 63 years old, full of vigor, with only a few gray hairs in his black hair. But he indicated to a companion that he had been offered the keys to the treasuries of the earth and immortality, or a resting place in paradise, and that he had chosen the meeting with his Lord and paradise. And indeed, shortly after, he fell ill, his mission completed, and he returned to his Lord well pleased and well pleasing. Messenger of Mercy